we've got the goggles two and the mini three and we've just updated the firmware on the goggles and we've just updated the firmware on the mini three Hi there everyone, today we're going to take a look at how to upgrade the firmware of your DJI Mini 3, actually any DJI drone these days. And this is specifically because we are going to get the Mini 3 prepared to use the DJI Goggles 2 for a nice FPV experience. I'm also going to show you guys how to update the DJI Fly app and the DJI Goggles V2, sorry the Goggles 2, not the V2. And um, to get the Goggles 2 to work fine so that you can get the whole FPV experience. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to upgrade your Mini 3 or your Mavic 3. In this case, you're just going to go into Google and you're going to type in, for, in, for argument's sake, DJI Download Center. And here you're going to click on the DJI Center. You're going to open it up and you're going to see a bunch of products over here. Now what we want to do is we're going to go to the product center, so software, and you're going to click on DJI Assistant 2 series. And on this, you're going to see there is the consumer drones option. And then you can download the one for Mac or the one for PC. Now I have already downloaded for PC. So I'm just going to open DJI Assistant 2 for consumer drones. And once that's open, I am going to take my mini three. I'm going to remove the gimbal cover, always remove the gimbal cover. And you can power it on. Take your USB-C cable and then stick it into the rear of the drone. And you're going to see that DJI Assistant 2 is going to detect the drone. You're going to click on it and we are going to proceed to upgrade the firmware for the drone. Now remember, I only recommend to upgrade the firmware if you absolutely need to. And in my case, I want to use my goggles too, so that I can use it on my Mini 3 and Mavic 3. And I never update the no-fly zone, so just ignore that. Firmware incompatibility detected, so it's great. We can confirm, and it's now going to run through the whole upgrade process. If you didn't see that, then you would just proceed to upgrade to the latest version in any case. So all you have to do is just wait for it to go through the whole process. Um, it's completely automated. You literally just click start and you wait for the drone to update and then restart. So let's just give it a second to run through the upgrade process and we'll continue when that process is done. As you can see, the drone will restart after the update has been completed and it will then automatically then reconnect to DJI Assistant 2 so in my case, you guys can see it's now just quickly running through the process. It's now charging on my machine. So I'm just going to power it up again since the drone has turned off. So there we go. We just turn it back on again. Close the pop-up, open up your Mini 3 or your Mavic 3. And let's just check our firmware. Just give it a second to run through and you can see that we are currently not on the latest firmware version and we want to upgrade to the latest version. So the first bit was just the battery maybe um, checking up making sure. So this is a very good thing that we open consumer drones to make sure that our firm is on the correct level but now i'm going to upgrade to the latest version if i click on the release note you can see added support for the goggles 2 and integra for the motion controller and it says for the mini 3 so fantastic i'm going to click on upgrade and you don't need to do it step by step you can simply click on the latest one and we can go through the whole process again as you can see here make sure you connect to the internet everything is done and go for it so now we go through the whole process again you can see it's just going to quick download and then start the upgrade process. So let's just forward on to the end. Almost done. As you can see, another restart. Nice big firmware update requires a few restarts usually. Okay, there we go. So now I can click back and the drone has now 
disconnected as the upgrade has now been successful. So I'm just going to unplug it and you can see that's turned off completely. That's great. So let's quickly move over to the next step. So I have updated my drone and now I need to update my goggles. So I'm just going to turn it on. There we go. And my goggles too, I'm just going to plug my USB-C cable in. As you can see, I already have the CFG file on. So close this and we're just going to wait for DJI Assistant to detect it. And there we go. And the same thing, simply just follow the instructions on the screen. You can see that I'm currently on 05 over here. So we're going to upgrade to the latest version. If I click on the release notes, you can see added support for the Mavic 3. The Mavic 3 Pro, Mavic 3 Classic, and the Mini 3. So fantastic. Let me close this. Let's update to the latest version. Once again, just going to download the file, transmit it, and then up to the upgrade. And we're going to forward until the end. Almost done. Let me just close it off. Same as with the Mini 3. 85 it's going to restart the goggles and to complete the upgrade so just give it a second and there we go the goggles have now been upgraded it is now on the latest version as well so remember now it supports the mini 3 the mavic 3 pro the mavic 3 and the mavic 3 cine so all of it's now right here so the last thing we need to do is just um, upgrade the application and then we're going to quickly hook it up to our mini 3 and do the binding process if you need to upgrade your DJI Fly app, you can see I'm already on the download page. It's extremely simple. You simply go to Google, you type in DJI Fly app download, and it will essentially give you a link to where you need to go. So simply go, there you can go. Don't ignore this whole sponsored stuff. Always just go straight to the DJI download center. That's the easiest thing to do. Simply tap on that. And it's going to take you straight to the download center where you can download the DJI Fly app. All you need to do now is simply click on the download button. So if you click on that one, it's going to start downloading. If you are an iOS user, then you are quite nicely tuned because you can just use it from your app store. But if you are an Android user like myself, you're going to tap on the download button and it's going to download the file to your device. Now you can see it might be harmful. Please ignore that. Just click download anyway and it's going to run through the whole process so let's just give it a second to run through the process so it can download the, uh, the file and then we're going to run through the whole process of how to install it as you can see the download is now complete simply what you do is you just tap on it and it's going to start the install now if you have to enable permissions to do so you need to proceed so the options will be displayed on your screen on how to do so in my case i've already done that so i'm just going to click the install button and it is going to install or update the app on my phone remember i already have the app on my phone installing the newer version will essentially just upgrade your current version so you don't need to uninstall and reinstall anything so just let the upgrade proceed and now you can see we can click on open and it is now going to open the DJI Fly app and run through the whole resource upgrading process. Just give it a second to run through the process. And there we go. We have now upgraded to the latest version of the DJI Fly app. And we can now proceed to go check and see if our goggles 2 can connect to our Mini 3 or our Mavic 3. We've got the goggles 2 and the Mini 3. And we've just updated the firmware on the goggles and we've just updated the firmware on the mini 3 so what i'm going to do now is let's hook it up so how the story goes excuse the light and the noise in the background so let me just get the mini 3 out and uh, we're going to power it up and we're going to put it in the air so how the mod works is that when you've got the Mini 3 upgraded and you want to use it with the goggles too, unfortunately, you've got to use the RC2, or the motion controller too, sorry about that. But the problem is, number one, no one's got it yet. And number two is, 
well, no one wants to use it. You want to use a real controller. So what we're going to do is I'm going to power up the Mini 3 and I'm going to power up the goggles. But as far as I, well, everyone knows is if you've got the goggles powered up and it's already linked, then you've got a problem. So just to be clear on how to link the drone to the goggles, I'm just going to quickly do that so that everyone can see how it works. So simply what you do is, is you turn on your goggles. Come on goggles. There we go. Stick my power button in there. Okay, so I've got my RC turned on. I've got my drone turned on, they've already linked. But what I wanna do is I wanna link my goggles to my Mini 3. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hold in the Mini 3's power button. You're going to start hearing it beep in the background. And then on the goggles, you got the little bind button on the inside. And you can hear it beeping. And it's already synced up. And you can hear it's already linked up. And your RC has now disconnected. So what you can do now is you can take a look inside your goggles. And it's going to say, switch to Mini 3 mode. So in this case, I'm just going to select switch to Mini 3 mode. I can't show you now on the goggles, but in the goggles, it will automatically prompt you to sync or link over. So I'm switching over to the Mini 3 mode right now. Just give it a second. Now it's switched successfully over. And I'm just going to do the bind again. So the Mini 3 is still in bind mode. And I'm putting the goggles back in bind mode again and it's now already linked up so you go through it twice and inside the goggles it's going to ask you to do a propeller check you're just going to click check complete and now you're going to have video feed so this is pretty cool i can already see via the fpv goggles that what my mini 3 sees my goggles sees so i'm ready to take off with the mini 3 just gonna leave it over there but the controller is now over here so if i want to take off with the controller it says aircraft only supports the Mini 3. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna turn my goggles off. And as soon as I turn it off, I can click on the go fly button again. And you guys are gonna see that the controller links up with the drone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take off. Just give us a second. Okay, Mini 3 is in the air. This controller works. I can fly it forward, backwards, and over there. So now it's in hovering mode. I'm gonna grab my goggles. I'm gonna power them back on. Stick on my head. Take a step back, just excuse the wind, guys. And I have video feed. And the best part is my goggles has got video feed and my controller has got video feed. So you can see what you, um, in the goggles where you're flying. I'm just gonna fly forward quickly. This is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Let me quickly record in the goggles. So it says in the goggles, aircraft only supports motion two. But clearly, I'm flying around. As you guys can see, here I am. Pretty cool feature to have, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, you can fly like a Mavic. So what's nice is you have your distance below how high you're off the ground. So all the sensors and stuff are still working. And we can essentially fly around like a Mavic and uh, we can take a look at where we are. So you can see nice home point in my goggles. This is a really, really cool feature to have. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is incredibly easy and so nice to do. You can see some pretty cool moves that you can get right here. Obviously, I'm just flying around, messing around now because this is so cool. You can still t all the controls looking up or down with the camera. Everything is there. Obviously, you're not going to have quick shots. 
that, I think that makes sense because effectively you are seeing exactly what a DJI Avata is going to do. You can even see the megabits per second on the screen below and uh, it's 25 megabits per second currently but I can always shoot it in my goggles. Let's actually try and see if we can do that. So I'm just going to put it down to myself again. Nice long flight time you can see over there again. So I'm just going to quickly go in my menu, uh, keep recording. So in my settings, I can go to my camera settings and I can do a recording. As you guys can see, my internal space is currently full, but if I had an SD card in, I could record. You just can't do anything higher. So if you had a Mavic 3, you would be limited to 4K 60, but with a Mini 3, obviously you're gonna be fine. So pretty cool function to have, as you guys can see in the camera settings. Um, obviously I'm in the air right now, so I'm recording, so it's not gonna work. But if I press the record button, so I can't, my record, my memory is full currently, so I can't format it. Should have brought an SD card, silly me. But, uh, oh, let's just take transmission quickly. Let's quickly see if we can take a look at that setting. So go to transmission. You can see my channel most to auto. So my Mini 3 is essentially running at 24, 25 megabits per second, and that's gonna be my max. So I can fly around and have a pretty good time. So I see some people there with their dogs. This is really a great feature to have, right? So now, you know that silly mode that no one really uses, it's like your cine mode and your normal mode and your sport mode. So let's just quickly cruise by, let's just do sport mode. Let's quickly sport mode and here we go. Have some fun flying the Mini 3 in sport mode. So you have all the features that you would have had with the Mini 3 but you're flying it like a Novata. Ooh, high speed over there. Be careful, no obstacle avoidance is working now. So let's just switch over to normal mode again. And uh, let's see if we turn to Homeworks. So I'm just gonna pop it out this way. So you can see my distance over there is now 30 meters. And uh, let's press return to home on the, on the controller. As you guys can see, return to home is working perfectly. Drone turns around, I'm not doing anything. So as normal, the Mini 3 is now going to function as it should. I think my return to home altitude is actually set quite high. Yeah, 45 meters. Just going to come back home. Nice and easy. And you can literally just ignore the message in the bottom right saying aircraft only supports the motion controller too. So I can still control the gimbal. And yeah, let the drone come down. Gotta admit guys, I am pretty damn impressed. This is pretty cool flying like this. This is making the goggles too so much more usable than it used to be. And uh, we still have the pause button, everything like that. So here we go, and press the pause button. Let's bring it down so you guys can see. Let's bring our gimbal up. Guys, I wish I could give you guys a picture of this, but literally, this is fantastic. This is absolute joy to fly and I really recommend doing this to everyone. Awesome. Okay guys, if you like what I'm doing, please consider to click the like button, the subscribe button, and uh, leave a comment below. I would really love to hear your feedback. I'm sure there's gonna be a million YouTube videos coming out with this exact same feature. So any support you guys give me with the affiliate links and stuff below would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys very much.